My name is Alan Good, and I'm going, and I'm the lead game designer of SOCOM Confrontation. And I'm going to take you through a little bit of Crossroads and show off the six-axis uh, tilt and cover system for everybody at home who hasn't seen it yet. So generally, what we're trying to what we're trying to provide the players with our six-axis lean and can, lean uh, feature is a, a variable co cover system where you don't need to be locked on to anything. So as you can see, when I lean the when I lean the controller to the side, my character obeys that command and it'll lean over, and it's totally controllable. I can lean out to the side, but at the same time, because I'm a crouch, I can actually also start to lift them up. So if all of a sudden I get to there's an object in front of me and I'm not able to shoot through it, I can lean out, but then I can eventually lean over it. And I still have full control over all my analog as well. So this, this pr proves to be very handy when I have covers such as vehicles or destructible objects that I don't necessarily want to lock onto. So if I lean out to the side, pick myself up, I can choose who I shoot at and when. One of the other features that we have in SOCOM Confrontation is the option to bail out. Like if I happen to be at some medium cover like this and I'm using it to take out my opponent and I'm all of a sudden in danger, I can bail. So I can get super low so if I'm at half cover all of a sudden it's, I, I'm in a safe zone and I can be full stand at the time and go into that and then I'm fully safe. So now if I come out, just to give an example in combat, this is Crossroads, one of the, one of the classic maps from uh, previous SOCOM games. And this happens to be one of the expansion areas. This is the 32 player uh, Merc spawn point. And I'm using a, a, a submachine gun and I'm gonna move up because it's good for closer combat. So you see like something like a vehicle that tends to be very, very destructible. I don't necessarily want to get close so I can keep my distance, lean out, and I can even slightly nudge myself so that way I don't actually have to come out of the lean. As soon as I give myself too much input, such as this, I'll automatically come out of that position. So if I run up here, I'm going to die because these guys are awesome. So I'll respawn. I'll show you some of the other things in this level. See if I can maybe get some of this cover to destroy. So this is that's a, just a good opportunity to actually take out my own guys, which isn't necessarily the smart smartest idea when playing these team-based games. So if I get them here and I start to use my cover, and so what happens is if you start to lean in too soon, it it kind of detects where your center or where you like to keep your controller. So it always tries to detect your center or how you place your hands. And it's only when you're at a full stop will you be able to get into these positions. Right now I'm going to show off how our weapon, uh, our weapon occlusion system. So as I get close to cover you'll notice my reticle will actually, actually turn yellow on me showing me that I don't have a line, I don't have a, a line of fire which means I'm going to have to peek out. So as I peek out, you'll notice my reticle will actually turn solid. This means I can actually get my gun out and I can make the shot. This is something that's new to Silicon Confrontation. It just provides a little more realism to the game in general. As I lean out, also works if I decide to lean up. This is our in-game character customization screen where I have the option of adjusting my body or my weapon. If I jump into my weapon, I go into my primaries, you can see we have a vast selection of guns I can choose from here. These are just the assault rifles all the way, everything that players have seen before in the SOCOM games. So if I come to, let's say, assault rifles where I have more customization than others, I take the M4, and at that point I have two slots I can choose from. I'll choose slot one, and then I can actually choose the attach point of the weapon. Say if I want to put on a new scope on this weapon, I go to the appropriate attach point, and I can change it in real time for whatever one I want. So let's say I wanted it, uh, the ACOG scope, I'll put that on, back out of this front end, and then now I'm using the new M4. Now if I go to body, I can actually come in and I can take and I can start updating my actual body on the fly. Right now we have them all open so that we can take a look and test all our, all our special forces gear. But beyond that, you'll notice that this is all light and then I can move to the medium armor and then I can move to the heavy. And this is just the upper torso and it's not changing color because I've, ch I've already chosen my uh, particular camo that I want to load out with. This is uh, SOCOM Confrontation and it's coming out this fall.